Well, I've decided to take the plunge. I got this cool pan at the casino. A friend of mine won it there and brought it to me. I've got the nice glass lid. And I'm going to make something really good and easy in it. I have three ingredients here. I've got uh, gnocchi. I love gnocchi. I have a package of those. I have a package of half-off mushrooms. What I do with mushrooms is I go to Safeway and they have lots of mushrooms which are half off. Usually they're just fine. So I grab those and throw them in the freezer. Then when I want mushrooms, I've got them ready to go. And I have a nice jar of pasta sauce which I took out of the uh, freezer yesterday so it's good to go. So I'm gonna start by warming up this pan with a little bit of olive oil and get some of those mushrooms sauteed up. We'll give this a minute or two, and in the meanwhile, I'm going to cook those uh, gnocchi up. I've got some water set to boil, and as soon as that's going, I'm going to drop my gnocchi in. Just tested the pan, and I'm going to throw all those mushrooms in frozen. Might be a little bit of splattering at first, so I'm going to put the lid on to hold that all in. Here we go. They're going to shrink up quite a bit. Because this is a coated pan, I'm just going to use a wooden spoon, or if you have a uh, silicone or anything that's non-scratch, no metal in this type of pan. Mushrooms are cooking up fine, ended up not splattering, so didn't need to use the lid. The water is close to boiling, so I'm going to go ahead and throw those gnocchi in. Here we go. Those just take a few minutes and they will be ready to go. Mushrooms are ready. The gnocchi are ready. Let's combine them. I got this little tool at Dollar Tree some months ago, and I'm excited about using it. Look at how great it scoops stuff up. I'm going to let these get to know each other for a second or two, then I'm going to throw in the red sauce. You can really add whatever you want to this. I love milky, I love mushrooms. You could add pine nuts, sausage, squash, anything you want. Red sauce is so forgiving. And there we are. I poured in about three quarters of the jar of red sauce and I'm gonna let it all warm up together. Again, you can do whatever you want. I would suggest maybe adding some mozzarella to this. Of course, Parmesan. I know that this pasta sauce is good because the person who made it for me always does a great job, but you might wanna pump up the garlic. Because I have mushrooms in there and I wanna emphasize the mushroom flavor a little bit, I am gonna be putting a couple of shakes of this in there is this mushroom flavor enhancer from Trader Joe's. And there it is, this pan really performed well. Looking forward to sitting down and having a great lunch. Thank you so much for encouraging me to use this pan. I'm really pleased with it. Enjoy lunch wherever you are, whatever you're eating, and thank you so much for watching.